everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i decided i have some fun things coming up this summer and i want to vlog them to remember them forever so i thought why not re-enter my vlogging era i'm actually not in my house right now i'm at the kids that i nanny's house because they're out of town and i'm watching their dog muffin um so i just got over here this morning just took her outside and i'm gonna eat because i got dumpling on the way here i brought this apple from home i've been really trying to do better with like eating breakfast because I have always been a person to like skip breakfast just because I'm never hungry in the morning but I'm really trying to like be fit and like whatever got some egg bites and I'm gonna eat this apple and then obviously I got my coffee and my order right now is medium cold brew two blueberry two butter pecan two cream my little breakfast check this is the book I've been reading right now it's called things you do in the dark by Jennifer Hillier I really like it so far it's like definitely like a darker theme I guess it is considered a thriller, so that makes sense. But, and then here's Muffin. <laughs> hey guys, we're playing tennis. Tennis checks. Look, we got the pink tennis ball. Alright, so you guys are on my vanity right now. First of all, guys, I would have worn a tube top if I would have known this is what was gonna happen. Completely ruined my tan lines from Florida, so I'm a little upset about it, but that's fine. I'm getting ready to go to my eye doctor because I need more contacts. I'm just putting on sunscreen and then probably gonna comb out my brows because I don't really feel like doing makeup. I'm just going to my local eye doctor and I feel like that's not super special. Tomorrow though, I'm going to Georgetown. We're gonna go shopping and for that, I'll definitely do like a full face. Well, not full face, just like a more makeup. I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on. This is the e.l.f. face cream fragrance free because I don't know if I like this or not. I feel like it might actually be breaking me out. So. I just like to mix it with moisturizer, it just doesn't feel super silicone-y on my skin. Yeah, my only plans for the rest of the day is just cleaning up my room, doing some laundry, and then going to my eye appointment. I do have to go check on the kid's dog again, probably like twice more before I go to bed tonight, just to make sure. And then I'm gonna be doing some reading because I got two books from the library like a week ago. And I'm leaving for South Carolina in a week and I want to make a goal for myself to finish both of the books. They're only like 300 something pages. I want to finish them both before I leave for South Carolina. Yeah, I'm going to like fix my hair because I'm not sure what's going on with that. And yeah, I'm already having so much fun vlogging, guys. I don't know why I ever stopped vlogging. Like this shit is so fun. So excited. I feel like a piece of me is like back. All right, this is my lunch. This is a little wrap and some cotton candy grapes. My nail missing. And some dill pickle chips. <laughs> so, <laughs> like a storm in the back. Hello. All right, I am now leaving to go to my eye doctor appointment. This is the end up fit. End up fit? Fit that I ended up going with. All right, we just made it to my eye doctor appointment. People have been driving like actually crazy today and I'm not sure like what's in the air. I'm spraying my ears. I got my fourth holes done over the weekend and they're actually like, they don't really hurt. I just have to keep spraying that stuff on it so they don't get infected because since they're my fourth, they're actually touching some of my cartilage in my ear. So like, I have to be really good about cleaning them because I do not want them to get infected. All right, so I just got all of my contacts and stuff. It ended up being literally $100, which I hate spending money on the fact that I can't see when I should be able to see for free. It's so fake. But I am leaving now. I'm gonna head to the kid's house to check on their dog. Muffin always barks at me for like five minutes straight, just like barking because she doesn't like when I'm here. But like whole time, look at her. Like that's how I know she's bored. 
because she's eating this up right now. Okay, so I'm taking the dog out one more time before I leave. It's like 7.45 now. But guys, the book I'm reading just took a crazy turn. Basically, they just found out that somebody that was dead is actually alive. But it's like crazy, the plot twist. So. Oh my gosh guys dropping off my car was actually so confusing so like there's like the dealership the honda dealership and then there's like the honda service center so i had to drop my car off to the service center but nobody told me that so i was just at the regular dealership and then i was like this is not right and then there was a sign in the back of the dealership lot that was like service like body auto body services at this address so then i went to that address and it was not the right thing so then i went back and realized that the place i needed to go was a block away on a different street so overall really humbling and really embarrassing morning now i'm just waiting for my sister to come get me and doing some reading i'm almost done with this book actually i got the hot honey Bacon, egg, and cheese wicker pop. So good. The hot honey is delicious. I usually don't really get these anymore, but I had to for one time. So I'm actually down in my room again. Sorry if you hear the dehumidifier down here, it's really loud. But I have my coffee and I'm going to keep reading my book because it got to a really good place but I had to stop because I was leaving the kids house. I don't know why I'm like so tired. Like it's literally 9.47 and like I've been up since like 7.30 and I thought that by now I'd be feeling awake, especially having like coffee. Cause I have like a cold brew, like it's not just coffee, but I don't know, I'm just like really tired. All right, I'm vlogging on my phone. So I just went in and airdropped all of the videos I've taken so far for this vlog onto my computer just so I have more space. I'm going to Georgetown with Victoria and her fiance's brother's fiance. Um, so I don't know how much like talking clips I'm gonna get because I don't want to be like awkward But I also want to like document our little shopping trip. So yeah, I'm excited But I'm about to actually start getting ready now because it's 10 20 and they're coming to get me at 12 So luckily I already have my outfit picked out. I just need to like do my hair do my makeup, you know the whole thing So okay, so we're starting to get ready right now. Um, I really wanted to wear my hair down But it is gonna be 87 degrees so a slick back is where it is i am being generous and like leaving out some curls in the back but like i really want to turn my hair down but it's simply too hot for that so we're just gonna do very very honestly light makeup too i don't really feel like putting on a bunch of stuff so it's gonna sweat off i have really oily skin so there's no point in doing a lot but also with makeup, I've really been realizing less is more, especially in the summer. I didn't start going to Georgetown until I went to UMD just because like at UMD, so many people will just like take the metro up there um, because they have a bunch of cool stores there. We have like Brandy, Abercrombie, which like those stores are nowhere else in Maryland. Like this is the only place where you can get them. I mean, I know it's in DC, but like I like living in Maryland, but I don't love it just because like there's so much shit we just don't have here. Georgetown, they just opened a new Skims. I don't know if it's a pop-up or if it's like a permanent location, either way. So excited. There's an Aloe in Georgetown. There's an Aritzia, like so many like very like niche stores that we don't have anywhere else in Maryland. Um, and it, honestly, it's not too far away from where I live. I live closer to Baltimore, so I'm like 30, 40 minutes away from like the dc area usually we take the metro in but luckily diana is kind enough to drive us so we're actually gonna get to park and drive and not have to worry about public transportation today but usually we do end up taking the metro down there just because it's a little easier sorry i make sure this is all blended out my eyebrows are in a really strange phase right now i'm not really sure what i have to do to fix it i'm going to record because it's time for my favorite part I have not worn blush probably since like I was in high school and I did competition dance and we were required to wear it for stage makeup, but I'm like fully digging this blush trend right now. I know I'm like so late to it, but 
truly, I feel like it just makes such a difference. We're now going to pick up my car. Okay, I'm back at the kid's house with their dog, letting them go potty and stuff. Luckily, my dad actually paid for my oil change, so extra plus $100 today, which was great, thank goodness. But it freaked me out because they told me I needed to do something to my car, two things that each cost like 400 something dollars. And I was like, um, I'm gonna ask my dad about that because I have no idea what that means. And my dad basically told me I didn't really need it, so. And I just got this top from Brandy. It's like one of the really basic like cotton, tops and i wish they had more colors because it's actually so cute like i've never really gotten stuff from brandy because i didn't think i could fit in their stuff but i actually can so it's currently 10 30 and i'm honestly so tired i had such a fun day today but like wow exhausting um i'm gonna get ready to go to bed but tomorrow is the fourth of july i'm going to hang out with some of my friends and i'll definitely put some clips in in here and i'm gonna start my second book this is the second book I got. It's called Circe. I think I'm saying it right. Circe by Madeline Miller. I think she's the one who wrote The Heel of Achilles or The Song of Achilles. Yeah, The Song of Achilles. Oh, well. Um, fun fact about me, I love Greek mythology. Like anything related to that. Like Percy Jackson was like the first series of books that I read and was like obsessed with. And that series literally made me fall in love with reading. So super excited to read that. I know it's going to be kind of sad though, I think. Um, and then after I finish that one, I'm gonna start watching House of Dragon because I just spent the last like month watching Game of Thrones and I really liked it, but I wanna watch House of Dragon. But I like can't watch too many shows and read too many books at the same time because like my brain just can't handle all those different like storylines and everything. So It's currently 4.38. I just left my friend's pool. Um, I forgot to vlog because I'm stupid. But I'm going to go check on the kid's dog. But I'm going to get a coffee on the way because honestly, I'm so tired. The sun is so draining to me. And I'm hanging out with my friend Kaylee later to watch fireworks. And that's at 8. And like I'm exhausted and it's not even 5 o'clock yet. So I need to get some coffee. So, Guys, look how beautiful it looks. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. All right, so it's been a little while later. I went to go check on the dog. I'm back home now, showered. I have a cute little festive outfit on. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second, but I'm just gonna do some really light makeup. And then we'll be off. It's like seven o'clock now. I'm actually so drained at my friend's pool. I like literally had one like alcoholic drink and I had pizza. And I think that combo with the hot sun just like kind of messed me up a little bit. Like my stomach kind of feels weird. So I don't think I'm gonna be eating any of like the cookout food that I usually have on the 4th of July, but that's fine. I just feel really weird. And I feel like the cold brew also didn't help either. Like girl has been fighting for her life, low key. I am gonna go back to check on the dog one more time. I always feel so bad because she's always left alone on the 4th of July. I've already been there twice today, but I'm gonna go back and give her like a little calming bite that we give my dog around holidays to have fireworks because she just gets so freaked out and like, yeah, I feel bad. So we're gonna go give her a calming treat and then be on the way to Kaylee's. So cute. Look at the flag. Hi guys, we are waiting for the fireworks. Oh wait, this is like a talking vlog. Yeah, we're like vlogging, vlogging like a YouTube vlog. Vlogging. I'm like eating my hair. Ah, hey y'all. Look at my tan line. It looks so bad. Oh my gosh. Just I'm scared. I'm scared. But yeah, we're just being, you know, being old. Serving girl. Serving Where everybody's old here girl. with their family. And there's children. Oh. Okay, so now I'm in the McDonald's drive-thru. I just dropped Kaylee off and I'm like actually starving. 
So I'm gonna get to McDonald's and I have to go home because it's already 10 o'clock. I need to go to bed because I have to go check on the dog at like 7.30ish, 8ish tomorrow morning. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna eat my McDonald's and have a great night. So yeah, see you tomorrow. All right, so we're back. Downstairs my vanity, we're gonna get ready. I obviously don't have to wear any makeup or anything, but I just love getting ready. I think the process is so much fun. So I don't know if you guys remember earlier in this vlog, I went to get new contacts, right? Well, I've been driving around and I've been noticing that I can't read some of the signs like in the far distance. So I last night came back from the fireworks and stuff and like looked at my prescription. Tell me why my prescription went down. Like my last time I went to the do eye doctor, my prescription was negative 3.75. The one I got two days ago was 3.5. So I'm like, no wonder I couldn't see. Well, I mean, I could see, but like, I no wonder things were blurry to me. That's a completely different number. So I'm not really sure because I did have a, have a different doctor than last time. And I did think it was weird because he was looking at my eyes for like longer than usual. And I thought maybe something was wrong. And then he asked me about like glaucoma after that. And so then I freaked out about that. But like, no, I should have been paying more attention to the numbers he was putting down on that clipboard because I'm gonna have to call them and be like, hey, can I like exchange these contacts? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, Okay guys, I'm leaving the house now. I just wanna do a quick little fit check. My dress is American Eagle. My shoes are Reeboks. My bag is Free People. And my sunglasses are from Amazon. My hair's a little dry, but it's so hot. I don't feel like putting stuff in it, so. Oh so pretty. Yeah, it's further west. Yeah, yeah today is the Kiwanis Park and then tomorrow. Uh -huh. Put my hair up because it's too hot. Um, no, but it okay, it's serving. It's serving. Thank you so much. I put it in the same way. Um, Guys, we're literally hair. drenched in sweat. No, my hair's up too. We're so hot. We're gonna go to the concession stand. We just found out it's open. I'm in my own style today. Yeah, Nadia had to put her hair up. I had to put my hair up. Ew, like, it's not even giving glitz on it. It's just giving sweaty and oily. Yeah. So, my blue snowball might not have been a good choice. I'm going for a walk now. Right, Stormy? Alright, let's go ahead. Come on.